When it comes to Monster Hunter World and its Iceborne expansion, I find myself reflecting on my experience from both a personal and professional standpoint. I've spent countless hours playing and streaming the game, completing both of the basis game's main story and the Iceborne's DLC. And I've done a lot of extra content that the game had to offer. While I definitely had moments of an excitement and enjoyment, ultimately, Monster Hunter World didn't fully click for me. Here's why. So I wanted to go over why, and even after fully diving into the game, I just didn't find the long-term connection that I hoped for. At the beginning, one of the things that made Monster Hunter World difficult for me was the complexity. The sheer number of systems thrown at you early on it is quite overwhelming. Between learning how to use the different weapons types, understanding armor sets, figuring out the crafting system, and managing your items and gear, it was a lot to take in. At times I found myself spending more time in menus reading guides or watching tutorials than actually playing the game. It felt more like I was studying a complex rulebook than diving into a fun, action-packed adventure. However, I will say that over the time the complexity stopped being an issue for me. By the time I had completed both Monster Hunter World and Iceborne, I felt like I had mastered the system. The weapon mechanics and item management that had felt overwhelming in the beginning became second nature, so while the initial learning curve was steep, I did eventually get the hang of things, and the complexity wasn't the problem for me in the end. But even after getting over that hump, other aspects of the game held me back from fully enjoying this experience. One of the biggest issues I had with Monster Hunter World, and this remained consistent throughout my entire playthrough, was the delay between pressing an attack button as an example, and the actual execution of the move. I understand that this is a fundamental part of the game's design. The slow, methodical combat is a core aspect of the Monster Hunter experience. Each weapon has a weight to it, and the timing of your attacks is meant to simulate the heft of the swing of a giant sword or charging up a hammer. But for me, this delay felt clunky and unsatisfying. When I hit the button on my controller, I expect the action to happen almost immediately. But in Monster Hunter, there's a noticeable pause before your character follows through. Even after understanding that this delay is intentional and getting used to the combat flow, I just couldn't shake the feeling that it was holding me back from fully enjoying the game. Instead of feeling empowered by my attacks, I often felt frustrated by the slow responsiveness. It's not that I didn't understand the strategy behind it. I knew that the timing and positioning were key elements in the battles, and you're supposed to plan ahead. But the sluggishness of these attacks made the combat feel like a chore to me, rather than rewarding a challenge. It's one thing that to have weighty, impactful combat, but it's another to feel like your controller inputs are lagging behind your instincts. This disconnect between pressing a button and seeing the action on screen never quite felt right, even after hours of play. Whilst this core element of the game that many fans appreciate, it simply didn't click with my preferred playstyle. Here's the thing, I don't inherently mind grind-heavy games. I've spent countless hours playing games like Destiny 2 and The First Descendant, both of which are known for their grinding. In these games I farmed for loot, completed endless quests, and worked my way through extensive gear progression system. I've grown accustomed to the grindy nature of these types of games, and I often enjoy the process of building up my character throughout repeated activities. However, in Monster Hunter World, the grind felt less rewarding than in other games I've played. After completing the main story, I found myself in a constant loop of hunting monsters to gather materials, crafting gears, and then repeating the process. This is of course the core gameplay loop of the Monster Hunter. While I don't mind grinding in general, the reward in Monster Hunter just didn't feel as satisfying as I hoped for. In Destiny 2 as an example, the grind is broken up by new events, raids, and different types of activities that offer a variety of experiences. The reward feels substantial, and the variety of content keeps things fresh. In Monster Hunter, however, the process hunting the same monster over and over for the materials felt, well, repetitive, and the gear upgrades felt essential didn't give me the same sense of accomplishment. The monsters were certainly challenging, but after spending 30 minutes or more on the single hunt, repeating for crafting materials felt more like a chore than rewarding progression system. While I understand that grinding is a part of the appeal of the many Monster Hunter fans, it didn't feel as engaging for me comparing to the other grind-heavy games. The time to reward ratio was skewed in ways that made me feel like I was working harder than I was being rewarded for, especially for the late game. 
One of the standout features of Monster Hunter World is epic nature of its hunts. The monsters are huge, unique and challenging, but each battle feels like a major event. The game does an ex excellent job of making you feel like you're part of the massive dangerous e ecosystem where every monster po poses a th real threat. However, the pacing of these hunts eventually wore me down. Fight with the certain monsters could take 20, 30, to even more minutes, and when you repeat hunting the same creature for materials, this pacing starts to feel tedious. The combination of the methodical combat with its inherently delay and the extended length of the hunts made the gameplay feel slower than I would have liked. At first, the scale of the hunts was exciting, but over the time, they started to feel like a grind in themselves. Another area where Monster Hunter World fell short for me was its storytelling. Now I get that Monster Hunter isn't really about its narrative, the focus on the gameplay and the thrill of the hunt, not on a deep emotional story. However, as someone who often plays games for the narrative, I found it difficult to feel fully immersed in the world of Monster Hunter. The story is serviceable, but it's not particularly gripping or memorable. The characters, while, while fine in their roles, didn't leave a lasting impression on me. They weren't much in any way of emotional investment, and I found myself more disconnected from the world because of that. The environments were visually stunning, and the monsters were fascinating in the design, but without a stronger story to tie everything together, I felt like something was missing. Okay, now so from my professional standpoint as a content creator, Monster Hunter World also presented some of the unique challenges. I streamed the game extensively, covering both base game and the Iceborne DLC, but over the time it became harder to keep my streams engaging. The gameplay loop, hunt, craft, repeat, and became repetitive not only for me but perhaps even for my audience as well. While each monster was different, the structure of each hunt followed a similar pattern, and it became challenging to create fresh content or offer a new exciting moments for my viewers. Additionally, the Monster Hunter community is very saturated with content creators who have deep knowledge of the game. As someone who hasn't who wasn't immersed in the Monster Hunter franchise before World, it was difficult to stand out in a community filled with experts. I often felt like I was playing catch-up, trying to keep up with the more experienced players and content creators. This made it harder to carve out my own space and offer something perhaps unique to my viewers. When Iceborne was released, I was hopeful that it would add new excitement to the game for me. And to be fair, it did introduce some of the fresh challenges with new monsters, biomes and gears. However, at its core, Iceborne didn't change the fundamental aspects of the game that had already begun to wear on me. It added more of the same grindy, heavy, slow-paced content that had left me fe feeling fatigued by the end of the base game. While it was a well-crafted expansion, it didn't reignite my passion for the game in a way I'd hoped. In conclusion, despite many hours I spent playing and streaming Monster Hunter World and Iceborne, the game ultimately did not resonate with me. While I overcame the initial complexity and didn't mind the grind itself, having played the other grinding games like Destiny 2, the delayed sluggish combat and repetitive structure wore me down over time. I understand why Monster Hunter World has such a dedicated fanbase, and I respect the game for what it offers, but for me the combination of delayed combat, somewhat heavy gameplay in terms of its grind, and lack of emotional depth left me feeling disconnected. While the game is undoubtedly a masterpiece for those who have enjoyed its core mechanics, it just wasn't the right fit for me in the long run. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe, I'll see you guys all, and have a wonderful day.